so hard when you break a bone in that shooting hand and just to get the flexibility, get the strength back in there. But he's made plays, and that's making a play right there. The Colsa, a team that really loves to score from the inside. Lomax trying to get bailed out. Tough oh, wow. chance. Achua, who's got... Hardaway talked about it. This zone is a tough one to crack. Isaiah Maurice on the floor for the first time. 6'10", senior, the only senior on the squad. Achua will take a three-pointer. Looked good on the way and came up just off the iron. Achua's two for three. The rest of the team has yet to get in the book, but joins back nicely with three straight wins. Joiner, good three-point shooter, leading at 9-4. Memphis has gone very, very cold. It's only been Achua who's been able to score. Good attack of the basket, and right on time. Neat. Boogie Ellis came in with a reputation as a big-time scorer, and they need him to put up numbers. Two on one, run nicely in the finish. Back where he is so loved in the whole city of Memphis, and be where he played as a collegiate athlete, now leading this program. A little bit of man, a little bit of zone, and Seems like Memphis is a little confused here. Nice pass inside once again, Achua. He cannot play through his shooting, and that, that's so hard for so many young players to really understand as we see Isaiah Hill not defensively the last six or seven years, predominantly a, a zone defense-oriented team, and this year going man-to-man -man and locking up. Jared Butler has been phenomenal for you know, But Frank Haith was telling us that Houston, if you watch the game, they, they absolutely weren't guarding Darian Jackson. He's had a couple of good looks. Carving out some space down inside. Rims in and out, offensive rebound for Jariah Horn. Remember, Puck and Presh Chichua just let him get to it. Tremendous play on the deflection by Isaiah Hill at the defensive end and step through. Achua for Memphis needs to make a shot. It's just to the point where Achua is 10 points, everybody else over 10. In the half minutes, Quinones threw the ball too low, dug out nicely by Jeffries, six to shoot. Boy, wild looking shot, but rattles down. Dana to put together some real quality wins. Nick Richards along with E.J. Montgomery playing together a little bit more. Nice play! Once again by Jariah Horn. Next the rebound. I like the match he had. He had Malcolm Dandridge and Lance Thomas guarding him. I have to think if that's the case, Jariah Horn's going to look to be aggressive. He's four of six. The rest of the Tigers are three for 14. Shot clock at four. Pull up, jump shot. Well guarded! Came from for a wide open look. Brandon Rochelle is a really good player. Banu inside, looking for the roll on the left-handed jump hook. Hey, I, I, kind of staggering. Rochelle, nice poke away that time by Hardaway, and here comes Jeffries. Right back to Jeffries, nice two-on-one break again. What's it? 77 on the year. This may be their lowest half of the year. Still plenty of time on the shot clock. Corita sets his feet. Good look and buries the three. Half high up off the board, long rebound. Taken by who else? Horn now with his sixth rebound. Rochelle running at the other end. Ball was deflected, went through the basket in any case. Brantford's, they finished above where they were picked. That's a really good pass right there by Brandon Rochelle of not panicking. That, that, that number 11 in blue. Very, very quiet, just like the rest of his Memphis teammates so far. Jeffrey, step back jumper. Maybe that'll take the lid off. Jeffrey's average. That defense creates some offense. There's that matchup zone once again. Pass down inside. Nice look in Quinones. Not that Lance Thomas is the guy you want necessarily shooting a 15-foot floater, but a casual. Wow, nothing casual about that. Nice pass by Banu finding Derek Jackson. And he's a guy that has certainly won big, and he's had a lot of talent, but, man, he, he does a really good job. Dangerous pass down inside. Still plenty of time on the shot clock. It's been all Memphis right since the opening tip. They got out to a 13-6 lead. Just to go out there and guard him. That rattled in and out. Harris with numbers, working with Jeffries. Nice play. Excellent execution and spacing on the break. Down run. Memphis loved to play with pace, but the half-court offense has really been a struggle. And there's three points. Now than it was, let's say, the beginning of the season. Well, I think what you said earlier about how Frank Hayes mentioned just how new this team was and you had with this zone over the course of, of really since he was at Miami. Joiner, nice attack. Floor. Chua yeah. loses you it. Have nobody out here with any experience and this is what happens. 
Joyner takes that coast to coast. There is no doubt about this. And look at the way Tulsa's defense has swarmed the ball, finally coming. There was no communication. You are allowing your teammate to get crushed. Corita, nice play in the lane. Turnovers, eight points off those turnovers for Tulsa. That's on the players, though. Yeah. You, know, you can coach them up as much as you want, but at the end of the day, Andrich. And the crowd here is chanting overrated, and I've never understood the chant. Because you need, you need big. Well, he emphasized when we talked to him today at practice, you know, that again, and I'm repeating myself from the first half, nice play once again. Season high was 28 in the triple overtime loss to Colorado State. Good defense down inside by Tyler Harris tomorrow night. Nice play by Ball, number 10 in blue down. Those that you should, if you're a college basketball fan, you definitely should see. Shot clock winding down here. Step back jump shot by Hill. Rattles home. Everything continues. And which, what, where you are as a fan. But to have something like that, I just don't want this season to be remembered by what happened last night. I don't think it will. Hill will dribble it out. And the final score, the Tulsa Golden Hurricane all over Memphis, 80 to 40. They led 23 to 10, 40-17 at the half.